one second, we'll get going. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of queen pawn openings, I'm seeing a lot of these London collies. Now, interesting move is, is this. I call this a Mexican standoff. You know, it's when two powerful forces are are uh, opposing each other, and neither one aggresses because the cost would be high for both sides. Well, that's just my term. Either side can can take, and one one side gets an open file. The other side will have to spend a tempo pushing that rook pawn up for safety. The double pawns usually are not a weakness. But they didn't play that. But the game is, you know, dead even. Now I wouldn't have done that necessarily. So we missed a chance to maybe, you know, get into that minority attack as I was showing earlier. Okay, now here, this you know, this isn't really necessary. Uh, you're what you're doing is you're driving this bishop away so they can chase your queen. You know, let's let's just play this. Okay, good move. See? Now you have to move your queen. Or, well, I can do that. Uh, Black might have a trick here. Knight b4. See if he does it. No, he missed it. Okay, knight b4. Well, what are you going to do about that? You have to take the knight, I think. See, you can't move the queen, you're going to drop the bishop with check. Well, no, no, let's see, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I have check. this. Uh, you have to come back. Yeah, it was possible. I guess queen a4 check kind of kills it. But you see, you see the idea behind it. Sometimes you can get away with this. See, the point is you're going to regain the piece down here and... A, black has the two bishops. B, white's got double pawns. C, black has a five to four kingside pawn majority. Okay. So the game is even. Neither side has a weakness. Although black does have the two center pawns, or had if white trades. He trades. So, you know, Right now they're all just trading pieces, so, so, in theory this should end, this should end in a draw. There isn't all that much to it. It seems like Black is initiating the trades too, but you know Black's got some reason to want to play on here. Uh, he has seven pawns, five of which are on light squares. White has seven pawns, four of which are on dark squares. Black's bishop is a little bit better. Now black can play a5 and get this in. At some point. Now, this keeps an eye on this square. In case, you know, black ever works this in, he has to make sure c4 is secure. Okay, so much for the possible advantage of a better bishop. Or for black, that is. Okay. So, who's better off here? Mm, you know, black has black has the pawn breaks. White not really set up for him. So, oops. So, I would say black is a touch better here. And the sides are using their time. Check. Uh oh. I spoke too soon. Well, you know, I can't, like I say, I can't fault um, someone that takes their time and makes a blunder, okay? I can't. Because, you know, you, you, when you take your time, you have a chance to, to find the right move. So I guess the game is going to end right here. Check. Oh, you got to keep playing, okay. Well, you're down a rook. Uh, maybe you're saving the, uh, maybe you get the knight back down the exchange. Okay, but it's it's a grind. You're gonna black's gonna lose this. And uh, this actually helps the white rook. Check. Now now black gave up. 
Yeah, that's a shame that he dropped the. Just drop, drop the rook like that. Or I guess it turned out the exchange. Let's let's back this up. Uh. Just play here. What's Y gonna do? We don't know. Let's do do this for the fun of it. Here it comes. No, he can't do it yet. Okay, well, I guess you could. No, you can't. So no, that's some that's just done for us a wonder. Let's try this. And stop that. Hmm. Well, I could consider trying to do this and this. Uh, well, maybe black just comes up here. So, you know, the game was the game was still even when it when when the blender came. Okay, uh, I'm gonna stop this recording.